was a really interesting slice of the character's life, and uh, the scene really captures um, their struggle on both sides of the characters and the complex emotions involved for all parties. Um, definitely a really, really interesting story to tell and explore, and I think it's refreshing to see that in the media. So this is about the film Chrysalis, which I really like the title. I think this is about a dormant relationship that's um, kind of hanging in, <laughs> in like a, just stuck and not able to move forward. Um, I really liked the acting. I thought all of the actors, including the child actor, were really strong. I really liked the acting the one actress did being drunk. Um, because that is her, her acting of, of it was very subtle. I really hate when actors are trying too hard to be drunk. So this to me was a really good, um, depiction of somebody who had a problem, but wasn't over the top about it. And actually it kind of makes it a little worse sometimes I would say, um, when it's not so obvious, I thought it was great acting and I thought they had really great moments between the two. Um, you could really feel the frustration that this relationship wasn't where it wanted to be. Um, and I really, I mean, the ending with the little girl in the bed, there was really something about the shot of the little girl laying there with her eyes open. There was so much going on in her face, like so many details. Like I, I just thought her facial expression and, and the expression in her eyes was just an amazing shot. I don't know, you know, really what, to, what else to say about that. I just thought it was really, really great. And, um, this was well done and, uh, would be great to see even like, you see, this is a series I could see. Um, like, I really want to know what's happening and why they got to this point, how they got to this point and how they're, if they're going to get beyond it and continue building on a relationship and, you know, fixing all the, the big issues that they have. So good job, everyone. Uh, Chris Ellis, I really, really liked this. I thought this was such an interesting, not even interesting, but like such a very normal approach to um, a relationship and a broken family and everything else it had such a level of representation that I don't think we see um as often in movies and shows these days and it did such a great job of showing a her relationship with her daughter and how much she cares and how much she's there and how much she's showing up and putting in the effort and then it shows her relationship with the other woman and you can just kind of see the breakdown you can see how much she wants to give in but she's making the choice for her daughter to demand a higher level of commitment and effort and at the end of the day she's making that choice for her daughter and at the the very last image that you get of her sitting down and obviously her daughter is still awake and sitting there is just like so beautiful because you really do feel because she's obviously trying to keep as much away from her kid as possible because that's the kind of stuff that kids shouldn't have to worry about but obviously your daughter knows some some kind of something is up and you just see so much in that like very last shot um, that really portrays that. This piece was well done. Um, right off the bat, I thought the writing was really great, very believable. The performances as well didn't get carried away with it. It was all very grounded. Um, and it was just good relationship drama, something that uh, is just always going to be interesting to an audience. Uh, and it's chock full of it here. It's presented well. The way you know it's edited and the pacing, um, their exchange outside, it's just it's just great. It just felt real. We felt like a fly on the wall um, for that drama. So really great work. Um, 
through great direction and, and uh, editing and cinematography, and yes, even the performances, we get a uh, short film that's just larger than the sum of its parts, so great work. Chrysalis was very interesting in the sense that um, the entire character arc basically happens within one scene, uh, which I thought was really neat because once it ended, I was like, oh, oh, okay, <laughs> you know. <coughs> um, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was very heavy in the sense that it dealt with topics of like alcoholism and uh, divorce and separation. Uh, but I like how, I guess, realistic and fair it was in the sense that um, it doesn't villainize the other mother. It more so shows how difficult addiction can be and how it can tear relationships and families apart. Uh, but I like that there was still hope at the end of it, uh, which I thought was very sweet of the film. And all in all, I definitely enjoyed it. All right, I just finished watching um, Chrysalis, which I thought was a very, very strong piece that was um, really anchored by very natural and uh, dynamic performances from um, basically everyone on screen. It was a great dynamic between the mother and the child in particular, very natural um, and very sort of um, stylistic in the early contracts of the beach and um, the images of them playing together. And I thought it really led, led well to um, the tense uh, moments with her from a lover arriving. I thought the piece was really great at creating a, a natural feel and is a reflection of a level of intimacy when you're very close with somebody, when you're um, going through um, serious tragedies like um, a d d the death of a newborn I believe um, there's a very sh um, strong graphic line about um, her pushing out her dead baby and how uh, this is all led to um, uh, alcoholism and the, and the other partner and has contributed to why their relationship is falling apart and that there isn't unity in um, raising the child that is now there I thought that it led to an incredibly realistic dynamic of her um, I believe spitting in her face and creating an almost um, like latent sexual dynamic that uh, ended up cutting the tension from a very dark place and sort of reflecting that these two people used to have a, a very strong intimate bond that was um, tied um, both on an emotional level and a sexual level and how um, time has passed by and has ended up ruining that bond and then how even if those two people still care about each other um, the, what it was in the past is something they can't necessarily return to and I thought that the piece really had a, a natural and um, respectful way of approaching very dark and heavy themes and I uh, played it out in a way that was uh, uh, realistic because of um i believe there was a, a long take um in the center and uh because of the acting style of the leads on screen was a great range of dramatic uh dark and comedic so i thought it was um, an excellent piece um well done clearly created with a sense of um, passion and a, a high level of chemistry between everybody on screen and i feel like that's why um it contributed to why i uh, felt so positively towards it